<clears throat> Good afternoon, Gemini, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the full moon in Sagittarius, which is occurring on May the 23rd, 2024. I've already cut your decks and I've shuffled them all nine times each, utilizing the numerology of the date, May the 23rd, 2024. Now, let's talk about the full moon. The full moon is all about a culmination point. So if you have planted any seeds, perhaps during the new moon in Taurus or just in general, you're working on some goals. <laughs> Um, the the waxing of the moon getting bigger and bigger and bigger is, is, is allowing your intention and manifestations to grow with the moon. But now we've reached a culmination point where it's reached its fullness. And now we are being encouraged to make room for all of the things uh, that we want to bring in. So what do we need to do to make room? We need to purge. Purge uh, old habits, old ways of thinking, old relationships, old things anything that doesn't serve us or that, that, that it impedes our, our ability to bring in what we want. So we could be doing this as a ritual to uh, clean our space, to clean our closets out, to do some spring cleaning, clean under your bed, clean the floors, uh, make space for new energy to come in, getting rid of all that old stagnant energy, open the windows, burn some incense. We want to maybe do some gardening and this is figuratively and literally, okay? Getting, weeding our mind, weeding our gardens of, of, of the weeds that might suffocate us from blossoming into our full potential, that might impede on the sun from giving us the nourishment that we need. Okay, so what can you rid of yourself? Any, uh, whatever it is that is not serving you or that's impeding on your ability to move forward with momentum, it could be habits like drinking, partying, uh, sleeping in, could be friendships that don't resonate with you anymore or relationships okay so negative thinking habits what can you purge to make way for the new to come in and now Sagittarius is the archetype of the philosopher of higher learning so expanding your mind and seeking out new experiences and new ways of thinking in order to get to your to highest potential we are being called to 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 feel more joy in our lives, to not take ourselves too seriously, not to take life too seriously. And to understand that we are not here to just work all the time. We're not here to, to work and die. So in your, what would your life look like if you could do anything and make money and be comfortable and bring in an income? And how can you break that down into smaller components that you can actually manifest that, okay? So that being said, let's start your reading. We're starting the, the reading off here with the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords indicates leaving the choppy waters behind and moving to calmer waters, the calmer shores. So maybe there has been some turbulence in your life. Maybe there has been some stressors or um, indicate uh, things that have been on your mind that have been holding you back from living a life of calmness or sereneness. So what would that be? You're being asked to trust the universe and to move forward because the universe is trying to guide you. Your higher self or your spirit guides or the universe is illustrated here in this guide. This is not this family's husband. Okay, this wife, this mother and her child, they have left everything behind, their old life. They didn't even bring any baggage. They didn't bring any belongings. So you're being called here on during this full moon to rid yourself of the baggage that you carry around with you. You can't take it to this new life that you're trying to manifest here, this of stress-free life of calm waters. In order to leave the choppy waters, you need to leave all the baggage that's weighing you down behind. So let's take an inventory of what that looks like for you during this full moon and maybe do a ritual, write it all down, what you're releasing, burn it in a safe environment. Okay, maybe you have one of these things, okay? You can burn it in there and then 
use the ashes and uh, bury it in the soil so it can help your garden grow. Okay. So, and understand that this is the universe. It's, he, the universe is trying to guide you to the calmer shores, but you need to do your work and your part and heal those, that, that baggage. Release yourself of those heavy burdens of the baggage of the past so that you can move to these karma shores with ease. The, the boat won't be able to carry all of that stuff. And they're trusting, you're trusting the guide, you're trusting the universe to take you where you need to go. Okay, because you're, you know, you're building a something, yeah, you're, the universe sees what you're doing. The universe sees that you are trying to build something here. You are you are doing your part, okay? You are putting into action some ideas that you've had. The Knight of Wands is the builder of the tarot. He has a lot of impetuous energy. This is the fire sign. And he is the doer. He puts things into action and gets things done. So whatever it is that you are trying, that any goals that you are trying to manifest that you might be able to pursue and to put into action in this new life of yours that you are trying to get to that is in the calmer waters, you have to do this healing work first of letting go of, of anything that is weighing you down that might be holding you back. So like I said before, are there any foods that perhaps are holding you back that are causing you discomfort or any sort of diet? Like, can you improve anything in your diet? Um, any substances that perhaps you are partaking in that is taking too much time or making you sleep all day if you're drinking all night, right? And you're not able to put this focus and energy into. Any relationships and friendships that don't resonate with you anymore, perhaps you're leaving behind because they are not resonating with you and uh, and perhaps they are uh, the people in those groups are on a different timeline or they're just not on the same frequency level as you anymore. And that's okay. We don't need to be in a fight to let pe people go. Just focusing on developing yourself and like it, it kind of all works itself out. And if people don't understand that you're trying to better yourself, then that's an indication right there as well, right? You don't need to be like, you don't resonate with me anymore. I can't hang out with you. <laughs> but, you know, just start focusing on yourself and building yourself in this new, in this new life. And, and relationships and stuff like that will kind of figure themselves out. But what can you do to re release anything that doesn't serve you? Are you scrolling too much? Are you not going to bed at a, at a good time? Not getting enough sleep? What would impede on your ability to, to utilize all this passion and drive and, and action-oriented potential and maybe purge yourself of that or start the process of it? You're also being encouraged to take calculated risk here. And obviously, when you're on a venture like this and leaving everything behind, moving on to a different moving on to a different country or like that could be the case. You could be moving, but moving on to something different, moving on to calmer shores, a calmer life. Trusting the universe takes guts. Trusting yourself takes guts. You need to trust the process and go with the flow because you're protected from risk here. Obviously you want to take a calculated risk, but the salamanders and the tarot indicate being protected from fire. And that is the risk. So you need to, to take it. And go with the flow. Because, yeah, this is a brand new start for you. And the fool also, he's taking a calculated risk. Or he's just follow, he's trusting the universe here. He's about to walk off the cliff, but he doesn't care because he knows the universe has its back. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go jump off a cliff. I'm saying you need to do your part. You're doing your part. You're doing your healing. You're trying to build something and 
you need to trust that the universe is putting opportunities in front of you and it's he is he the universe he or she or whatever is guiding you to something better but you need to trust and you need to do your healing because you're on the precipice of something brand new here the major arcana is a like the fool is a representation of us and he goes through the major arcana that's all the lessons that he has to go through in a cycle until he reaches the world the world is the last card of the major arcana and then we start again as the fool so you are leaving something behind some sort of turbulent life chapter in your in your life and then there's something new being built and you have a lot to do with this new chapter too. You're healing and you're, you're trying to build a better life for yourself. Though there's also a white rose here and that indicates hope as well. Very positive card. It is a golden card and golden cards in the tarot signify positive energy. So with the six of, of swords here, we have protective nest. I would be encouraged to whatever it is that you're building here, uh, because you are endeavoring on a new chapter, I would keep your ideas on whatever it is that you are trying to pursue or you're building um, with, you know, with this builder card to yourself at this time. Um, not everyone in the world can be trusted. I know this from experience. You don't want people to steal your ideas and, and um, put a damper or some sort of roadblock in your uh, whatever it is that you are pursuing. Obviously, it's going to look different for everyone because it's a general reading. But you're being called to protect something that you're nurturing here, that you're trying to birth into existence. Maybe you might not even be telling people about the uh, pursuing some sort of new life or don't tell people that the progress you're making on because people don't like seeing people succeed sometimes okay and not everyone has your best interest in heart so at this time i would suggest for you to protect your ideas and your goals until it is a good time when you've already established when you're already built your house on this calm shore then you can start excuse me, sharing things. But for now, I would hold things hold, dear to your heart. We do have a mermaid's love here. I feel that uh, this could be love coming in for some of you. The Fool is normally a card that indicates Uranus, and I believe Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me. Don't shoot the messenger here. So you might have some placements of uh, someone coming in for you that might be uh, really different than who, who you're usually attracting. You see how he has, he's like a bird, he has wings here, and she's a mermaid. So this could be love coming in here, but it could also be um, finding people that resonate with you at, a, uh, at your frequency. So if you are if you are purging people, places, things in your life, don't be discouraged and feel that you're going to be alone or that you're going to be, feel lonely. Um, because on in this new thing that you're building on these calmer shores, even though people might look different or like I think you're going to find friendships in where you least expect it. And that is very nice to see, Gemini. You're going you're gonna to find common ground with people that perhaps uh, you wouldn't necessarily think you would have much in common with. But I feel that you're going to definitely find either love or a soul tribe in this new chapter of your life. And with the Fool, we have Under My Umbrella. So another indication that you are protected here. 
you're being asked to really step into your true authentic self here, Gemini, and not shy away from shining your true color and your vibrantness into the, into the world. You see how she, okay, so you see how he is very confident. This is, and you know, don't, don't hide your colors. Don't hide your um, eccentric self. He's also wearing some interesting clothing here. Lead with your heart and be proud of who you have become. Okay, you are leaving the time here of covering yourself up and covering your true authentic self. And know that if you take the risk, you're you're going on this new you're you're going on this new chapter, you're building something new. And you can you have the ability to recreate yourself and you know it's not about recreating yourself because i think you're just shedding you're shedding the masks and um, the expectations of what the world or others have put on you and you're shedding your old self and now it's like you're rediscovering who you really are or who you've always been and this is very amazing for you gemini uh you you don't need to shy away from from maybe you've forgotten who you were for a very long time because of the stressors in your life. And now it is a chance for you to step into your, your true authentic self. And that is very beautiful. You are protected. You see how he's about to just walk off the cliff here? But he's just stopping to smell the roses and he knows the universe is going to have his back. And you are being protected here, right? You have the salamander on your cloak, like in the Knight of Wands. And this is the universe here, I mean, holding the umbrella over you, protecting you and allowing you to shine. Very awesome reading. We're going to end off here with a Supi Wisdom Oracle card. Slow down to relax. Break to enjoy the beauty all around you. Okay, let's see here. Patience is not just sitting and waiting, it is visioning. It is looking at the thorn and seeing the rose, looking at the night and seeing the day. Lovers are patient and know that even the moon needs time to become full. How quaint and fitting for this full moon reading. There are times when we feel weary, drained and fatigued. Everything seems to be moving at its normal pace, yet our usual energy, drive, and motivation take a bit of a dive. This is when our body and soul are telling us to slow down, take care, and not burn ourselves out. The time has arrived to sit back, relax, and focus on foreseeing the future. Rumi carries a powerful message. Turn your focus inward and towards your spiritual development. You are being called to slow down, to see more of the beauty around you, like the fool. Rumi wants you to realize, if you haven't already, that the power is within you and you can create anything you wish. All the answers you have been looking for are revealing themselves to you now. But first, you must take the time to connect with the inner source of your divine power. By quieting your mind, not only will you be able to see things more clearly and less reactively, the spaces in your mind may bring forth some amazing insights. Whether it is past life pattern or something you have learned, it is time to set yourself free so you may live more creatively and step into your true power. Your mantra for this full moon is, I am determined to fill more of my time with peace and to relax for as long as I need to renew. Very awesome. If this reading resonated for you, my dear Gemini, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. That is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with this full moon, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I'm truly grateful for your energy. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful full moon. Bye.